Hello again. You're joining me at the beginning of week 10 of my aloe vera weight loss journey. If you don't know what this is, if you've not seen my previous videos, this is a video diary of me, a guy, 40 or 39 years old, six foot two, trying to drop from around 16 stone to lose two and a half stone in just two months using aloe vera, which is a weight loss therapy, which uses a sachet based high protein diet and uh, complementary therapies, LPG and ultrasound. The ultrasound releases energy in your fat stores and the LPG shrinks your skin. So you shrink a lot faster as you lose the weight. And the uh, theory being that you're not left with any loose skin. It's working for me so far, so that's wonderful. And the amazing news this week is that I have hit my goal. Two months. I know I think they said eight weeks at one point, but it's been two months. I started on the 12th of September, 12th of November, I weighed myself on the Saturday just so I had an exact comparison and I have lost in that period of time two stone 7.5 pounds. I now weigh 13 stone 1.9 pounds. I am just less than six pounds off of the peak weight for my height and age. So I am absolutely delighted. It's awesome. And that's why today I can also announce that I'm going on to Stage three. I mentioned this last week. This is all very, very new. Stage three basically means the sachets. Yes, I'm going to have some of them and I'm still going to continue to lose a little bit of weight. So who knows? I might be just a few pounds within that ultimate golden goal one of these, uh, one of these days soon. But I'm very keen to start this because I know there are several stages beyond stage three still to come. I, I spoke to, uh, to the girl who was doing my treatment today and she said, well, yeah, You've got this for at least a week, and then you've got another four stages. So I'm five weeks away from finishing. But of course, once you hit the stabilization stages, they say you don't have to have the uh, complementary therapies anymore. So the price drops through the floor. You know, it's gonna become a lot, lot cheaper. Um, so I'll talk to you about that in a minute. But first of all, my stats in the last seven days, this gives you an idea, even eight, eight nine weeks into the diet, you can still expect this kind of weight loss, these kind of results. I've lost three pounds in the last week, very different to the half a stone I lost in week one or those uh, months ago or two months ago. Um, but because I'm smaller, the results on the tape measure, as I said last week, are awesome. So I've lost two centimeters off my tummy in seven days, three centimeters off my chest and two centimeters from my bum. The weight loss isn't huge, but I am shrinking more so than ever, more than any of my other previous results. So absolutely delighted. Right, let's talk about stage three. So what is stage three? For a start, yes, you are still eating some sachets. You are eating a snack sachet in the morning, you are eating a sachet at lunch, and a sachet in the afternoon, but then you have a normal dinner. Personally, I skip the morning snack, and I have an evening snack. That works for me, probably doesn't help with my metabolism, but I checked it with them and they said, as long as you're not going over you know, your allowance for the day, and as long as you're eating between two and four hours from the last time, then you're fine, stick with it. So my breakfast now could be 30 grams of sugar-free muesli. It could be a Weetabix, one and a half Weetabixes. I love Weetabix. It could be 30 grams of special K or bran flakes. It could be 30 grams of porridge oats or 200 grams of strawberries or raspberries. Um, and all of the above can be served with a choice dairy products. And the dairy product choice is 150 ml of skimmed milk, dairy, back in my diet at last. I could have 150 mils of almond milk, which I think I'm probably gonna go with because almond milk sounds a lot better. I'm not a fan of skim milk, it's like white water. No flavor, I, d I just don't see the point of it to be honest. Um, or you can have 100 grams of 0% fat-free Greek yogurt. Now I'm looking at that wondering whether you can play with it and have 15 grams of muesli and 100 grams of strawberries and then the fat-free Greek yogurt. I mean that, that's making me salivate the idea that I could have that for breakfast instead of another cheese omelette, which is what I have every morning. And in fairness, I love those cheese omelettes with a couple of mushrooms chopped up into them. But this sounds, oh God, same breakfast for two months. I'm ready for a change, you know what I mean? And I know some of you, I apologize, will be on this for a lot, lot longer. Um, but yes, I guess when you've got in your back of your mind and you see your target approach, you start to look forward to, the, to a bit of variety. 
Oh my goodness, or if I don't want those selections, I can have one slice of brown, white or granary bread. I could have two slices of lean ham. Um, I'm allowed low fat spread uh, with a serving of Marmite. Wow, this is amazing. Let me just get this right. So I can have granary toast with low fat spread and Marmite for my breakfast. That's, that's pretty impressive. Although I have to say that probably wouldn't fill me up as much as the omelette. Anyway, that's breakfast, which sounds amazing. Mid-morning snack, or as I choose to have an evening snack, I have a slightly later breakfast and a slightly earlier lunch. Lunch is one sachet plus uh, specified salad, fruit, vegetables from your extended choice. The choice of vegetables, here we go, I'll read them out in case you're looking forward to this stage yourself. It's bean sprouts, carrots, French beans, leeks, papaya, peach, red cabbage, ruby cane, still no idea what that is. Spring greens, swede, watermelon, beetroot, cauliflower, gallia melon, uh, mange too, parsley, pear, red onion, satsumas, spring onion bulbs. That's strange, yes, because before you were only allowed the green bits, weren't you? Tomatoes, white onions, uh, Brussels sprouts, celeriac, gooseberries, mulberries, passion fruit, plum, red peppers, savoy cabbage, star fruit, turnip, yellow peppers, water chestnuts, strawberries, shallots, red currants, raspberries, pawpaw, nectarines, grapefruit, chili peppers, and cantaloupe melon. I think most of those were allowed in your choice before. Um, unlimited vegetables, let me just have a look through whether there's anything that jumps out to me as new. No, aubergine's still missing. Aubergine was allowed in uh, phase one, in stage one, sorry. No, I can't see anything new on there. Nothing that jumps out. Um, and then for dinner, you're allowed the same dinner that you're allowed on stage two, which I've talked about previously, where you're allowed 125 grams of lean meat, 150 grams of fish, or you're allowed dairy, low-fat yogurt, eggs, or quark. Still don't know what quark is, really. Um, and that's along with the usual stuff the one tablespoon of olive oil every day, or as I've told you previously, is exactly 25 pumps of the uh, one cal olive oil spray, which is also allowed. And I've been doing that from the start. Um, so that works, still losing weight on that. Um, any vinegar, exception of balsamic, this is all exactly the same. You're allowed black coffee. I was told to avoid having black coffee after 1 p.m. because it can affect your sleep on this diet. I've actually stuck to that, works pretty well for me. Um, I haven't really got any more to say this week. I've hit target. You're gonna see over the next few weeks, they're gonna be shorter updates because on the 19th of December, 2016, it's over. I'll be done. So that's it. I'll be able to go out and have a McDonald's if I want. I, I hope to God I won't do that kind of stuff anymore. I have to be very careful, but I've got four stages of stabilization to follow this, stage three. I'll take you with me. Um, hopefully you're still following along. So this hopefully will be quite interesting for you if you've just started the diet or if you're halfway through the diet, knowing what's to come at the very end. Because the worst thing you can do, and this is what every therapist I've, uh, I've, I've been with um, at the clinic has told me, there are a lot of people that hit their target, as I have, and uh, say, that's it, and pull the plug and go back to their normal life. And they said, when that happens, the weight piles back on like you wouldn't believe because your body is in a starvation state. So anything I eat now will be stored. So important, it's high protein stuff. So 12 stone, 10 pounds is the peak weight for me at my age and height. I can't think for a second, I can't even believe I'm knocking on the door of 13 stone. When I was married, I was nearly 18 stone, literally about half a pound off of 18 stone. So what's that? That's like uh, hang on, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, nearly five stone. I've lost nearly five stone since my wedding day. Um, and on this journey, two and a half stone. And I'm still going. I'm still going to see much slower weight loss over the five weeks I've got left. Um, look forward to telling you all about it as I go. Sorry, this uh, update was a day late. But thank you again so much for, for following my journey. Um, keep the comments coming. Uh, and uh, yeah, see you next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.